All right. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, okay, green, good. All right, so I'm Chris. I work for a small advertising company. We uh, have a mail service, too. Um, I gave this presentation at, uh, in the Vancouver Nanog in the security track, so if you saw it there, it's pretty much the same, except for some dates and a couple of links at the end. So I'll skip a bunch, but basically, if you're a peer of AS15169, you're going to get prefix filtered. Ideally, why? Because, uh, wait, wait, uh, sorry. Who else is a transit network in the room? Rudiger is, you are, you are, good. Not everybody, though. That's weird. I am by mistake. <laughs> <clears throat> Somebody decided this whole let people run VMs thing was a great idea. Um, so we're just going to grab initially IRR data. We're going to add some RPKI to it when we get the technology on our side sorted. Um, technology's hard. And we have some internal TE thing that we do already, so we'll use that to filter down as well. Uh, we're going to collect the data. We're going to put it onto our router. It looks a lot like that, really. Um, and we're doing uh, our method is just to make it per AS filter and, and filter as we can. Uh, we're going to mark not today, today, but like ideally April. Then we'll start deprepping routes maybe three months later. And then after three months, presuming nobody is still screaming at us about this, then we'll just drop routes. So notification, this is it. Notifying peers, hi. Um, <laughs> We actually have some uh, official documentation that our peering team is working on. I don't do peering, by the way. Uh, I'm happy to answer questions, but <laughs> I don't really know anything about peering. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> uh, so we have a website for peers. I think it's peering.google.com. That will have some information about this. I think it may be uh, not a pointer to this slide deck because my PR department would shoot me if they knew this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll have some updated information. Wow, I'm going fast. Uh, we'll have some updated information for actual peers on isp.google.com, which is the, the portal that can be used to view your current status. Ideally, we'll be able to tell you for all the routes that you send us, which have or don't have IRR coverage. Mostly, we'll just tell you which don't have, so that's the ones you should fix. Um, we're collecting data from things like the IRR. I have been shocked over the years by how horrible this entire system is and how everybody has a crazy bespoke tool, which works for them, it won't for anybody else. And then there's a bunch of tools like IRR toolset, that doesn't even compile. I don't even know what's up with that. BGPQ3 is great, uh, but I can't actually use that internally um, because it doesn't fit into our crazy space world. Uh, I could run a local IRRD, that also doesn't work for me because it doesn't fit into the crazy space world. I think a lot of the problems that I have, probably other people have. So I have to write a bunch of tooling to make myself work. I'm going to try and do it as generically as I can and hopefully make it available. I think the next slide actually has the link. Oh, no. It'll be later. Anyway, uh, because somebody at Google invented this open config thing, with some other people, I'm sure. But Rob's happy about it. I'm going to have to generate open config output, or at least some intermediary thing that looks like open config. So I'll probably do that in the tooling that I'm building. Um, to publish, and ideally you could use that if you were also doing open config, or it's just, it's a data structure, so you could build something else from that. Uh, if there's, in fact, there's a GitHub repository at the, near the end here. If you have questions or comments, or you're like, hey, open config is crappy, please do this other thing, let me know, we can, we can talk about it. Um, application, I'm gonna put them on routers, shocker. Uh, okay, so originally in Vancouver I said, Merry Christmas, I'm gonna to filter to you at Christmas. Um, Christmas moved to April. Uh, I'm gonna get presents. Um, and then ideally we'll be dropping routes from, you know, that, that don't match the filters by like September. I think these dates are pretty decent to think about. If you aimed for September as your final get all the data right, that'd be perfect for me. Um, hopefully I'll actually have stuff implemented to work. I have a couple. It doesn't say April 1st. Okay, yeah. I also won't do it on Friday, so Mark Andrews won't come get me, because uh, I got him. Um, ha. Uh, so anyway, the tooling, the Manners folks at ISOC offered up a GitHub repository we could use. We started putting some stuff in there. There's a library that will, it's all written in Go, because I don't know, work makes me do that. Um, it download, it will parse an IRR file, database file today. It'll parse any of the ones that are available. There's a tool that I added, and it's waiting for review, 
which should actually parse a bunch of them all at the same time and create structured data. The next step for me is to actually do something with the structured data. Again, if you have comments or questions, I'd be happy to answer them through GitHub, or you could email me at whatever was my email address in the beginning. Um, that's it. I have four and a half minutes if anybody has questions. Rudiger, you seem like you want to ask yes. a question. Rudiger Volk, Deutsche Telekom. Uh, actually, I have less of questions uh, for, uh, well, okay, I, from my exercises in, pe in trying to uh, filter peers, uh, I know there are quite a number where it does not work. Um, but, well, okay, uh, kind of uh, you select where you are applying and where you figure it out uh, to be feasible. Um, the question of the tooling for analyzing stuff uh, is indeed crucial. Uh, we have had uh, guys who worked the miracle of uh, getting improvements and additional function out of the stinking heap of, sh uh, of manure uh, that has been left as the IR toolset. Um, and one of the tricks that I find useful uh, is actually generating the results in the format of RPSL uh, is very helpful because that means that the tool can also eat, eat itself yeah eat itself so okay. you can you can okay. run multiple mul multiple cycles and actually derive more interesting information and uh, 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 my Developers uh, actually recently added a few interesting uh, filter and diagnostic stuff like uh, I can tell you what you have in your IRI data that is RPKI invalid. Yeah, right. So that's that sort of technology out at the back end seems yeah. useful to me. Yeah. I don't know that I'm, I'm certainly not going to do it with IRI toolset. I seriously tried on three different platforms. No compile, no luck. So yeah, kind of, kind of to, as, <laughs> as I say, stinking heap of manure. Yeah, I had, so I had to build my own. I'm perfectly happy to share. Um, we, we are also like, uh, like to share, and we might, we might actually do something in Prague. You have something you want to say there, Mr. Gilmore? No. no? One question. Yes. Anurag, yes. Hurricane Electric. Uh, once you start filtering, do you know uh, when you'd regenerate filters? Would that be a once every day or every few hours? Yeah, sorry. Um, I think I covered that in the slide deck. I'm not going to back up. Uh, there's a bunch of weird reasons that we have for any global update takes four days. So I can't do anything across the board. I think the plan that we've been saying to people and in the slides, I think it says this, is that the ISP portal would give the opportunity for like, hey, I updated my stuff click the button, and then within an hour, we should be able to regather the results and update devices. Cool. So I think that's kind of the plan we're working toward. If we get that, that would be great. But otherwise, think about, like, I'm updating filters once a week. Anybody else? No? Awesome. You have an extra minute and a half, my friend.